Don't change that dial. This is Dr. Bill Henderson with Fire Time Radio Show. And in the studio today, we have a live audience. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! You are about to watch Tower Feet. Some people say, I don't know. Don't stop, right, Tommy? That's right. This is big Tommy Sarodnik. Tommy, talk about what some of the stuff we're going to be doing. We're going to have an incredible day today. You're going to see soda cans exploding. You're going to see one man. He's going to come bite down. Oh, it's me. Oh, uh, yeah, it's you. <laughs> Doc yeah. said I need to get iron in my diet. I'm going to bite down on this and bend it into a coil. And you know what? The Bible talks about our, our wish to be on a straight and narrow road. Oh, yeah. But a lot of times the devil comes and twists us up. But God promises what the devil meant for evil, God will turn around into good. So we're going to turn a twisted steel bar into something absolutely beautiful. Then you have these stack of bricks here. You're going to see bricks crushing. A lot of people have walls of concrete in their life, whether it's fear, insecurity, shortcomings, handicaps, sin. But the walls today, Bill, are going to come crashing down. That one represents count. This has got a seven count for perfection and completion. And last but not least, new beginnings are starting now in your life because you've tuned into the right place, the right time, and it's fire time radio. And we got these two things. Hold on. There's more. Some people ask me, what does a frying pan have to do with the gospel? Nothing. But we're going to use it today. We're going to roll this up into a burrito just because we can. There's nothing spiritual about it. And then we got a phone book, about uh -oh. 2,000 pages. Bill's gonna come and attempt to rip this phone book in half like a single sheet of paper. Now the significance of this is the Bible says that, that, that we all have sin in our life and that we stand before God. If we're Christians, the record book of sin is torn up. That's the greatest news. So he says, I'll take your sins and cast it in a sea of forgetfulness and remember it no more. Hallelujah. Are you ready to rock and roll? Let's do this. Come on, we're gonna do it. And this is Dr. Bill Henderson, author of the book God's Radical Remnant. You can get that on Amazon or right here. Tommy, we got a couple of soda cans. It's diet, sugar free, so no stickiness. It's just like water. But there's pressure. If the pressure gets too big, guess what happens to the can? It explodes. Guess what happens to our life? If the pressures get too great, if we don't have something greater inside, we explode. For the Christian, the significance is that it says, greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. So today, I want you to remember as I do this, what's inside of you? What's controlling you? It's going to be tested in the moment of pressure, in the moment of trials, in the moment of financial hardship, marital difficulties, school, whatever you're facing, running for your dreams and goals. What are you made of? And with Christ in you, you can do all things. So watch what happens when pressure hits. And you know what? I don't want this to happen in your life. Turn to Jesus. He'll be a strength. You can never burn. So I'm not a pearl unless there's pressure. A diamond's not a diamond unless there's pressure. And those that are watching right now, God has ordained them come to on. watch to get through the pressure in their life. You're but a diamond. That You're dog. a pearl. Come on. Come on. Let's see what we can do. You come on. We need some help in the audience. Hey. how we do baptisms around here. All right, a little louder, we need help. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, come on. Yeah. One down, one to go. One down, ah. two to go. What's next, Tommy? Let's do the steel bar. Steel bar. Oh, here we go. We need Have some help. Countdown. We need help. Can you give me a Look at that. Look at that. One more. Come on, you guys are. Come on, Tommy. 
Come on, Johnny. Go. 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 Come on, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. You got this, Johnny. You got this. Come on, Johnny. He's unbelievable. That's a new world's record right there. Look at this. Come on, Tommy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Brian Pan. Brian Pan. Coming up. All right, Brian Pan. Cheer me on now. You guys yeah, that's it. They're being bent in two, but God's got a plan no matter what. Before the foundations of the earth, Almighty God, even though you might feel like you're in the frying pan and tore up like that, God has got a plan. Hallelujah! Come on! Hallelujah! Mike, come up here real quick. Mike, Mike, Mike. We got a dear brother in the house here today. Uh, tremendous land. Uh, how, how do you say your name? Tremendous trees and landscape. Yes. And you're on your way right now to a prison. Yeah, I'm going to this uh, West Valley Detention Center. And why would you go to a prison? Uh, there's a, a, a brother in there that slipped and he's fighting 39 to life right now, so I'm going to go minister to him. And... You know anybody else that's ever been in prison? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm healed, amen. Yeah. I'm healed. I went, I went four times until I came to the Lord 16 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You see, the Bible says that wherever the God of healing, help, and comfort, and mercy, and consolation touches your life, just like Mike right now is going into a prison to do the same thing where God invented. You were locked down and yeah. you cried out to who? The living God. The living God. The living God. And he came and met me right where I was in my prison cell in Soledad. Yeah. Soledad prison in the shoe, in the hole. Wow. Wow. Solitary confinement. And you were a shot caller and you had the keys to the thing. And, yes, I was. And they said you'd never get out. That's what they and said. And now you are, you're a contractor in Southern California and all over the world. Mm -hmm. Working with a lot of places. Yeah, all over the place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two contractor's licenses. All the, yeah. things, all the things that they said I couldn't do, I'm doing. All right. So what's your website or what's how they get a hold of you? TremendousTreesAndLandscape.com or TreeMike, www.TreeMike.com. Nice. Oh, we're gonna, nice. We're going to go for some bricks to be broken here in your life. Once again... This is grace and favor. It's the number five. Should I do one or all of them, Tommy? Just all, one right at a time. Row. How's that? All in a row. All in a row. Okay, here we go. I'm going to need some help from somebody out there. Yeah! yeah. Uh, is that all the help I'm going to get? Yeah. No! Let's do that. Let's do that. Let me let me you keep Bro, rolling here. Yeah. All right, you know what? Sometimes we miss. Sometimes we miss. Bill, why don't you just settle on top of here? Okay. What we're gonna do. Champions are not those that never fail, they're those that right. never quit. Right. Alright? A lot of times in our lives. We come out and says a righteous man may stumble seven times, but yet he gets up. Champions are not those that never fail. They're those that never quit. You may have a dream or a goal, and you hit those things, and you met resistance, just like Bill met resistance on those bricks. But you know what? We find a way to win. When I played football at USC, one of our models on that team was find a way to win. And so many times, that's exactly what happened. We've got to find a way to win with God. This is your day. You may be out there and say, oh, he missed. But you know what? There's things you missed in your life. There's things that have happened where, where God's called you to do things. You've given up. You've quit. You've tripped. You've failed. God says, hey, champions are not those that never fail. They're those that never quit. Micah 7, 7, and 8 says, do not rejoice over me, my enemy, for though I fall, I shall arise. The other day, ready we, to get we were out? doing some feet for about seven minutes, and it refused to blow up. And so that is the message here. And what did I do? Well, you I said I'm like coming. a little baby. <laughs> you said no, I'm I coming did. back for you, bottle. That's right. Then we went to a rehab center, a prehab center, and you got that guy. Let me share this with you real quick. There's a man that tried to climb Mount Everest years ago. He failed three times on the third assault. He got killed in an avalanche. It was amazing what happened, Bill, because that man, the survivor of the, that avalanche, the, his party came back to England, and, and he's addressing, it's a memorial service. They got a big picture of Mount Everest behind him. 
in the key phrase, he turned his back on the audience, he looked at the mountain, and he said, hey, you, you conquered us once, you conquered us twice, but one day, Mount Everest, we shall conquer you, because you can't get any bigger, but we can't right now. Are you no, ready to get bigger? I am, and I'm telling you, and I'm waiting for God to do it through me. But listen, in your life, we call these the three D, Tommy, and you know about this. In your life, a, a dilemma will happen. I just had a kind of a dilemma. I got one break, but the other one didn't go. Then in that dilemma, you make a decision. And that decision decides your destiny. You can have destruction, or you can have dominion. I choose dominion. I choose Jesus. What do you choose today? Come on, Bill. Yes. Come on, give it yeah. up. Come on, right here. You go through with your body, you drive it through. Bill's gonna get this. Come on. Let's go! Do. You know what? There was 36 bricks stacked up or maybe more. He got every single one. Did he get in three hits? No. But on the fourth one, he cleaned it up and got the rest. Yes. God promises. You're going to finish out on You know top. what, Tommy? There was Shadrach, Meshach, and Bendigo. And, Bendigo. and you know what happened? The fourth man came in the fire. Come on. Woo! You got the yeah. fourth man coming to see you today. Woo! Don't change that yeah. You're up. All right. How about a phone book? Well, okay. Well, is that all that's left? No, in the water bottle. That's in the it. water bottle. Okay. Without a rest. <laughs> the Bible says... If our name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, we will be cast into a lake of fire. Our name has got to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. If it's not there yet, maybe it's in the Book of Death. How about if you guys cheer today for everyone taking a few minutes to watch this video that their name can be pulled out of the Book of Death and put into the book of life. This is the record that God has given us eternal life and this life is in His Son. He that has the Son has life. He that has not the Son of God has not the life. These things have been written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, Jesus, so that you may know that you have eternal life. Can I get some help in the house? Can I get a little more help in the house? a tag team. Sometimes when our brothers get a little bit down, sometimes we just have to say, hey, tag, let me help you. You're it. Well, I got good news for you. The Bible says that Jesus is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And if you'll just say, tag, tag, Jesus, tag, help me, tag, tag, just raise those hands in the air and say, Jesus, help, and he will come a running to you. Yes. Yeshua HaMashiach, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. He came as a lamb, but he's coming back as a lion. Come on, somebody. Hey. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's right. I got a water bottle. Guaranteed not to rupture a break for 10 years. That is if you put hot water in it. 
This time we're not gonna put hot water, we're gonna fill it with hot air. This thing is incredible. It's about the equivalent of a tire tractor, 400 pounds of pressure going into this. Now, the reason I chose that song in the background, which will crank it when I start, is that's Kelly Huff. She's an amazing artist. She's known difficulties in her life. She's undergone so many trials and temptations. Seven top ten songs in the Christian charts, but then she suffered divorce. She suffered struggle with alcoholism. But you know what? She refused to give up and quit. And I said, Kelly, you can't get rid of that gift because what God's given you, he's going to hold you accountable for. The gifts and callings are irrefutable. Bill, you know what? She said, you're just saying that to be nice. And I said, no, I'm telling you because it's from the Lord. Right. And the next day, Elton John calls and says, I want you on my CD. She's on his latest CD four times, and that just sparked her coming back and her faith stronger than ever. She's knocking down doors. She's the praise and worship leader. And I tell you that story because you know what? There's some of you that may face divorce, that may face difficulty, substance abuse, and God says, you know what? This is the day of your breakthrough. Right. I'm going to be looking for a breakthrough with this hot water bottle. But that's why I got Kelly singing right now. You'll probably get another song and run out. But let's see what it Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And the, and the scientists try to say years ago there was a big bang. And I'm agreeing with that. There was a big bang. Every time God said there was a bang. Don't change that dial. This is Dr. Bill Henderson with Firetime Radio Show. And this is Enrichment Radio. And oh. Come on, Tommy. Yeah, you got, you got this. Oh, oh. Yes. I was trying to tell him to put my sunglasses yeah. on. <laughs> Where do they go? Thanks, you got God. Him. You got him, Bill. You got him. You got this, Tommy. <laughs> go, Tommy, go. Come on, Tommy. Come on, you guys. Come on. Come on. Come on, Tommy. Come on. See, now we're all sweaty. This thing gets hard when his face is sweaty. Come on, Tommy. Bible does say that bottle is not going to get much bigger when we can. That's right. And just like last time, I made it the second time. You did. We're going to see this broken the next time I do this. Okay. Come on. To deal. 
All right. Yay. Yay. You think that we're just a big bag of air? <laughs> uh, we want you to know in Romans chapter 10, and if you'll see in verse 13, it's one of the shortest verses in all the Bible. It says, whoever, are you a whoever? Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. His name is Jesus. Tommy's done this. I've done this. This entire studio audience has done this. Big Mike has done this in prison. And wherever you're watching from on the internet globally, no matter what time zone you're in, it's your time. The Bible says that before you entered your mother's belly, before you were conceived in mama, God knew you, He's got a plan for you, a purpose, a future, a hope, an expected end, even a happy ending. But you've got to seek. You've got to open your mouth. You have to cry out and say, Jesus, whatever it is you do, do it to me. I grew up in church. I was an altar boy. I helped take the offering. I did all kind of stuff. And then I started stealing cars. And then I started fighting. And I got away from the, from the Lord. And little did I know that mama and my sister, and they were all praying, and a Baptist church was praying. About 300 people were were praying for me and my three bro my other two brothers and here's what happened in 1978 in the month of December smoking too much angel dust out of my body looking at a dead man on the floor I hear my mom say Billy don't run from Jesus run to him and I'm going unbelievable what the heck have I been smoking I'm out of my body my dead mama's talking and I realized it was God talking to me through my mother's voice and something was trying to take me to a place that I call hell the Bible speaks more of hell than it does any other subject don't go there don't be a fool be cool make heaven hell's hot and heaven's not and if you just say a simple prayer right now and we'll all pray this prayer together we would like to close out with that bang, putting your name in the book of life. Before the stars were made, before the galaxies were hung, God had a plan and a purpose, chose you to be born right now, chose you to tune into this broadcast right now to turn your life over to the Lord Jesus Christ. Big Tommy, you know, you failed the water bottle, but you won't fail on the prayer you're going to show them. We fail a lot of times. We do. We, uh, people don't understand. We, we miss these things. Well, it's even, real. even spiritually, we fail. The Bible says a righteous man may fail seven times, but yet he gets up. <laughs> yeah. I'm not defined whether a water bottle breaks or a brick breaks. I'm defined by Jesus Christ as right, the Lord man. of my life. Mm -hmm. And he says, I will cause you to fall yeah, yeah. where you'll come out on top. Yeah. He yes. will never fail us. He'll never forsake yeah. us. But the greatest news is Christians, we are owners of nothing stewards of everything. Yeah. Right. The greatest Absolutely. thing you can steward is your sphere of influence. Yeah. So it's not just about getting saved and giving your life to Jesus Christ. It's about once you've done that, say, God, why did you put me here right. on this earth? Right. What did you put me here to do? Yes. Then throwing yourself into that purpose with all your heart. It's an exciting life, literally taking us around the world. You won't believe what God will do for you. And just like that steel mm -hmm. bar, God will take what was meant for evil, twist it and turned and beat up, mm -hmm. and he'll make something very beautiful out of it. Mm -hmm. Turn your life over to Jesus Christ right now. The Bible says command men everywhere to repent. A command, there's no, you either obey or rebel. There's no like, hey, I'm, I'm going to put it off and do it later. That's disobedience. Yeah. So God's commanding you. If God's tugging on your heart, he says, do not harden your heart at this time. Because yes. you don't know you'll have another chance like mm. this. Hey, we were in one assembly in Augusta, Georgia. A young boy rode off from that, that assembly after he'd just given his life to the Lord. He rode off on his bike. Boom, hit by a car, dead. Yeah. If he would have been killed an hour earlier, his eternal destiny may not have been fixed. Yeah, See, right. you have no no knowledge of right. when you're going to die. Tommy, 107 people every minute die. And the sad statistics are 3 to 5% out of 107 actually made heaven. And when I do interviews and me and Tommy talk to people one-on-one, -on -one, most of the time people say, I'm going to heaven because I'm a good person. And the Bible said there's none righteous, no, not one. And our righteousness is like filthy rags. And the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of eternal life is through Jesus Christ our Lord. Tommy's going to pray a prayer. And we are decreeing and declaring in the name of Jesus that grace and mercy is invading you.
that 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 uh, what this this said here that's number seven that perfection that God will begin to perfect you and bring completeness and last but not least new beginnings start now and it starts with a prayer and you know the reason why most people think that they're going to heaven is they say well I'm basically a good person well that may be true when you're saying one spectrum of man to another yeah you're basically a good person but when you take yourself and place yourself in comparison to a holy, all-powerful, perfect God. That's where we're like little scumbags. And if you break one commandment, you broke them all. So who can keep, nobody can keep them all. So it says that apart from Jesus Christ, he was our sacrifice, our substitute, where we fall so horribly short. God's standards perfection way up here. Mm. And you may be on that spectrum, whether you're at the bottom or wrong or the middle, wherever you're at, you're still as lost as lost can be. If, if I said, Bill, let's go to the Grand Canyon and let's jump to the other side, I may set a record of 150 feet. Bill may make it maybe 200 feet, the all-time world record. My motorcycle is bigger. That's there you go. <laughs> but, but who had the successful jump? Yeah. Bottom line, you went furthest, but we're all going to splat like a bug and die. Uh, In the same way. Yeah. You, think, you may think you're good, and maybe you are compared, but compared to God, the day you die comes yeah. judgment. And the ways of man seem to be right. The ways of you watching seem so to be pray. right. But in the end, it's death. Only if Jesus. If God's touching your heart right now, just bow your heads and just say this from your heart. Say, Dear Lord here. Jesus. Dear Lord, Lord Jesus. I ask that you would come into my life. I, I ask that you would come into my, my life. That you'd wipe away my sin. That you'd wipe, wipe away, away my sin. Adopt me into your family. Adopt, Adopt me into your family. family. Give me power. You give me power. power. To live the way you've called me to live. To, to live the way you've called me to live. To walk as a Christian. To walk as a Christian. And walk in your victory. And walk in your victory. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your Healing. Thank you for empowering me. Thank, Thank you for empowering me. That I can live this life you started in me. That I can live this life you started From in this me. Day forward, From this day forward, I declare, I declare Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Over every area of my life. Over every area of my life. Amen. 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 And if you just prayed that prayer, contact the station that you're watching it on. Let them know that you just gave your heart to Jesus. And we need to get something in the mail to you. So don't change that dialogue. This again, this is Dr. Bill Henderson, Big Tommy Sirotnik, Come on, brother. coming to you from Southern California, but globally. And we want you to know something. Jesus is Lord. Amen? Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. <laughs>